Welcome everybody, my name is the IT Guy and in this video we'll be looking at how to set a static IP address in Ubuntu 18.04. So in Ubuntu 16.04 we used to have something called if up down, so interface up down to change the the IP addresses. So if you would cat something like etsy uh, network slash interfaces we would see something like this. So this would be normally if you would um, normally in 16.04 and you know before uh, before that we went to use something called the interfaces file and over there you could change your network settings. But if you can, as you can see uh, it has been replaced with if up uh, with netplan right now so we need to go over to uh, etsy netplan. So let's go ahead and cat etsy netplan oops uh, 50.cloud-init.yaml uh, file. If we would cat that, we'll see something like this. So this is actually the new type of files that Ubuntu 18.04 uses. It's a YAML file, and uh, you'll need to change some values over here. And I'll guide you. I will guide you through the process to do that. So first of all, you'll need to open this up with sudo writes. So you need to sudo vim and then etsy netplan slash 50 dash cloud dash init dot yaml and specify the password over here so what do, what we want to do in this file over here is we want to go down to where it says dhcp4 so over here we'll see ethernets and this is our ethernet adapter and we will have to change the dhcp4 which says true to make it say false so we press i to enter the uh, insert mode we remove true we enter false and then we press enter and the first thing we're going to specify are the addresses And the addresses need to be specified within square brackets. So just open the square brackets and enter the address you want to assign to the machine. In my case, it's going to be 180. And of course, we need to also specify the, the net mask over here, which is 24. And we'll, we'll just close off these square brackets over here. Then we're going to specify the gateway 4, which is the IPv4 gateway. Uh, just a quick mention over here, this, this guide is only for IPv4 addresses, so there will be no um, IPv6 addresses in this. Uh, will, this is no, no tutorial for IPv6 addresses. So we just specify the gateway over here, which is in my case 192.168.0.1. And now we're going to specify the name servers and we press enter and then we enter addresses again, do a colon and then we open the square brackets and then we start off with uh, whatever you want. So I'm going to use the Google DNS servers, so 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8. and then we're going to separate those with a comma and the second one is 8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. 8.8.4.4 and then we're just going to close the brackets here. So everything else uh, is okay so we just have specified that DHCP is off, we have specified the address, we have specified the gateway it has to use uh, which is the router of course and then the name servers uh, which are the Google DNS servers I provided over here. So to exit this we press escape then we press colon and when we enter WQ to write and quit and right now it is written so let's um, do a quick reboot of the system to see if the settings have been applied. So let's just enter our username and our password over here. I do realize that rebooting the system uh, might be a bit overkill, so if you are running a live environment, uh, you can also do sudo netplan uh, apply, just like that. But I don't know. I I think I uh, I have this uh, this bad habit. 
from 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 Windows to reboot the system every time I make a change. So I still do this in Linux, but if I if I'm working on a live environment, uh, this is just for demo purposes. You can also just use the sudo net plan apply. Uh, I I would never re reboot a live server like that, but this is just for demo purposes. So let's see to let's see if our IP address has changed. So let's just enter IP address. And let's see over here. So we do have yes, we do have uh, 192.168.0.180. Let's do a quick ping to google.be. And the pings seem to be going in and out, so that looks perfect. So so this was just a quick tutorial of me showing you how to enter a fixed IP in Ubuntu 18.04. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.